want to do a houseplant tour, Keeper? You want to do a houseplant tour with me? Yeah. Oh, clap, clap, clap. We're going to do a houseplant tour. Let's do a houseplant tour. All right, you guys, I think I wanna start here in my front room. This is the first room you see when you walk into my house. If you take the front door, we take the garage door, but whatever. So this is the first room guests see when they come over. I tidied up a little bit, but I left things, you know, how they lived in, I guess. So please, no judgment, but let's get started and I will take you around. If you were to walk through my front door, this is what you would see. So let's start right here. First things first, we have a rattlesnake calathea that is growing well it was outside and it seems to have been it's acclimating well to my indoor environment we got a china doll plant and one of my favorites my chiflera one lonely syngonium um a neon robusta i think this one kind of grows funny for me but i i just can't bear giving him away so he sits there This is Izzy, this is my brother's dog. I'm babysitting, huh? Huh, honey? Sit, sit. Good girl, this is my kefir, huh? All right, back to plants. Set up. All right, you two, calm down. I have my philodendron scandons. I had a mic and hanging up here. Here's a lonely empty pot. But here is my philodendron scandons growing well. And down, we have a philodendron bipenifolium, an African violet, and my philodendron hastatum, the silver sword. This is one of my favorites. I just recently cut it to trade with a friend. So I am waiting to see some new growth. I don't see anything happening just yet. And there are some begonia propagations. If we come up and over, here is my new little setup. I need to cut these off right here, shorten it up a little bit. But here is my golden pothos from Julia. And another plant from Julia, my Peperomia obtusifolia variegata, a pothos enjoy or no, Apothos Pearls and Jade, and then a Mystery Begonia. If any of y'all know the name of this beauty, please shoot me a comment. We got some new growth. I love this little shelf. I need to get something to put right there. Here we have a Schlumbergera, Schlumbergera uh, Thanksgiving Cactus. This one has pretty pink reddish blooms, I believe. And if we pan down, my Begonia Bewitched, I love this. This is the best growing begonia in my house. It does so well for me. It's gorgeous. And it's actually very, very easy to propagate. And then over here we have a Syngonium Randy and a Syngonium Maria, or I'm not too sure. I always forget the name of this one, but I potted them up together. This one's not looking too hot, but the Randy's doing very nice. Up here, we have a propagation of some narrow firm Monstera adansoni. This has just recently been potted up, so it's still acclimating. It's looking a little rough, but don't give up on your plants because it's gonna be great soon. Another Syngonium that I do not know the name for. This one is so deep red, so lush. I love it. It is amazing. Look at the color on that bad boy. And then here we have 
a Christmas cactus, a true Christmas cactus. You can notice the difference between the Thanksgiving and this variety. My Silvery Ann Skindapsis, one of my favorites, grows effortlessly. It's in a very low light spot, so its new growth is quite small. I need to find it a better home, but I mean, when you have so many, oh Lord, you kind of run out of space, huh? So it does do okay in the low light. And look at that silver, it's gorgeous. This is my south facing window. This is where a br the brunt of my plants are. A lot of these down here were all outside and have been moved in for the fall and winter. So let's just jump into this. I'm going to try my best so you folks at home are not dealing with this backlit situation. Back here we have my jade plant, which was also outside this summer, doing pretty well, I would say. My ficus lorata, my fiddle leaf fig, who is also doing great. He has put out a branch here and there is a branch in the back back there, growing tall and strong. My Purple Heart Tritoscantia, this came from my grandfather and was literally down like it was nothing. I ended up cutting it all back and over the summer it pushed out all this. This pot was nearly empty and over the summer it pushed out all of this new growth and look at those cute pink little buds. So pretty. Back in here, let me try and get you an overview. This is my little cacti succulent garden. I had all these cactus, cacti outside separately this summer, but before bringing them in, I wanted to pot them up together. And here is a very sad uh, donkey's tail uh, sedum arrangement thing. Um, I'm not giving up on him one day, it'll look good. Here is another one of my favorites, my narrow leaf Monstera Adansoni. I actually just recently took a bunch of cuttings off of this guy, but I want to take these hoops out. I want to make it two moss poles, I think, and stick it in here. This has been in this pot for two years. I think I need to repot it. The roots are coming out the bottom. It loved it outside. I can't wait till next summer to put it back. So watch out for that in the future. I think I'm going to video myself staking this guy up and then I'm going to crop and chop the crap out of it. Whatever doesn't fit on the moss pole is getting chopped and propped. Here is my ficus elastica Taniki. I just chopped it there and I chopped it back there. Probably not the smartest idea since we're going into winter soon but it was really tall it was blocking a lot of light so i just went for it and hopefully i'm going to leave it here this winter hopefully the south window will do it some justice and then back here is my weeping fig my ficus benjamina getting look at all that light green growth that's all new very nice my variegated hindu rope one of my favorites and compared to my Crimson Queen, the white growth does great. On my Crimson Queen, it falls off and dies, but look how beautiful that is. And it holds on to it very, very, very well. So very happy. My String of Hearts, another Hindu rope, the green basic Hoya Hindu rope, Hoya Carnosa Compacta, is hands down, I think my favorite plant. Look at this one. This is, I don't know if anyone knows what my absolute favorite, favorite plant is, but it's this one. My first compacta, doing great. Oh gosh, what's this? Oh no. Looks like something was chewing on it. Maybe my cat, I don't know. But look at all this. That's all new growth, so. And then here, is another string of hearts but can someone confirm for me is this the silver glory 
string of hearts. Is it? That looks a lot different than my other said string of hearts. But I have not had this that long. And it is a Trailin. I almost forgot a little guy. Here is my Cebu Blue from Julia. Let's get this on here. Doing really well. I love Cebu Blue Pothos. They're one of my favorite. Now into the dining room kitchen. Right, Izzy? Hi. Look at her cute little underbite. Yeah, Izzy. You're a good girl, huh? Except you kept me up all night fighting with the kitty cat, huh? Not cool. All right. Over here is my Peperomia Orba, my Pixie Lime, Pixie Variegata, something or another. But I think it's Orba. It's a variegated variety. The variegation is very faint, but very, very cute. I have taken a lot of cuttings from this to propagate. One of my favorite babies. Here is my Philodendron Brazil. Looking great, doing great, growing great. Very easy houseplant, love it. Down here on the table, we have a wild house cat and some plants. Here we have uh, Aglionema Maria. Hiding back here, we have a Begonia Masoniana. Um, some type of anthurium that needs its leaves cleaned bad, but very pretty. These flowers are like hot, hot pink. This one might be on it, its way out, but I actually like that color. Here is one of my favorite Hoyas. This is the Hoya Lacunosa, the only Hoya. This was actually a gift from my friend John. I think he felt bad for me because none of my Hoyas flower, so he gave me this Hoya with a crazy amount of peduncles. Come on, Izzy. Izzy's trying to get the kitty kitty. It's frustrating. But this Hoya has so many peduncles, yet has not flowered in my care. Go figure. One of my favorite philodendrons, my neon philodendron scandens, a Hoya multiflora, another favorite Hoya of mine. I love this one. Very different than um, your typical Hoya. Hoya pubicalix. And down here I have my green variegated Syngonium potophyllum. Another, I think this is another weeping ficus, ficus benjamina in um, bonsai form. This is my fiance's because it's got the cutest butt and everyone loves a good character plant. Some propagations of my Maranta and a pink princess cutting. Here is my Hoya obovada coming in with some new growth. I think the new growth on this is the cutest little, little things ever. I love it. I have a Manjula pothos. These are not that easy. I've had this for a while, give or take, and I don't know. They're not the easiest to take care of compared to your Golden Pothos, Marble Queen, Siva Blue, so on. And lastly on this table, but 100%, not least, is my Skindapsis Trubii Moonlight. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I cannot wait to see how big and silver this leaf is. Love it. Ooh, and to think I almost forgot it, forgot a few. Here is my Hoya Bilobata. No. Oh, actually, this is, it says Bilobata wax plant, but then it says Hoya DS70. So you guys let me know. Another one of my favorites. I guess all the Hoyas are my favorites, but these are kind of fuzzy, suede -y. The leaves are very different. 
I wish I had flour, right? Ooh, what's that? No. Nope. Thought I saw something. And mystery Hoya. I think it's a sun-stressed Hoya way at EI. If y'all know, let me know. Beautiful though. I have a parallel Peperomia. And up here is my one and only Fotonia. I have killed so many of these and this one is growing well. It's growing tall. It tells me when it needs water. I water it, it perks back up. This has so far been the only Fetonia in my three, four years of like, like in the house plant game that I could keep alive. It was a gift from Tom, so I think that means something. I don't know. I love it though. Very pretty color. Here on this side of my kitchen is my Calathea mosaica and my Rapidophora tetrasperma. In this little basket, we have my Piccolobanda peperomia growing very well. This was a surprise plant from Hertz. I was supposed to get a Ruby Cascade, but hindsight, I'm okay with it. Very cute, very nice. And then up, up, up is my Sissus. Rotundifolia, rhombifolia. I will try to insert the appropriate name here. I need to find a different cash pow. I don't like how that looks, but it'll do for now. Up on top of the fridge, we have my red maranta and a very, very, very sad Bonnie spider plant that my cat loves to try and eat. So it's living its life up there. It's probably going to uh, be sold, I think. Here's a dead plant. It was a sage of some kind. It's dead. Here are some onions I have sitting in water, an apicia, an elephant's bush, another string of hearts, and my weeping rosemary. Oh, and I can't forget my beautiful Kevin Coey from Kristen. Doing good. This stuff though smells divine. I want to get another herb to go over here. I'm thinking basil because it's my favorite herb to smell. So maybe in the future. Do do do. Lonely plant in the bathroom. That is a uh, Peperomia Hope. I don't know why I have it in here because I really actually love this plant. I need to move you out. I am sorry, Peperomia. I am secluding you. That's probably why you're growing like crap. You need some life in your life. Hmm. On to the den. Go lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Okay. Just like my, my child <laughs> listens so well. Here I have, oh, I just wanna know, this is like my favorite corner. I love this corner. Anyhow, this is my, I'm drawing a blank. My Ficus Elastica Ruby. Very little and that's why I like it because I have enough big plants. Little is sometimes better, people. Little is sometimes better. Here is a little propagation of a Peperomia Frost. Another propagation of a Monstera Adansoni Narrow Form. A sad Hawaiian spider plant probably needs water. And what is left of my Diffenbachia tiki? If we pan over, here is my Philodendron micans, another favorite, because let's be, on, let's be honest, it's velvety and anything velvety is great. I love velvet. Here is my big bad boy, Monstera Deliciosa. It was about to here, I chopped it and sold two pieces. There was a piece that was coming out here, chopped it, and it is now making someone else happy and bringing them joy. My snake plant, <laughs> I think it's a black coral, Can't. I'm not too sure. Next to that is another favorite, my philodendron pedatum. And he's growing pretty well. Here is his newest leaf, I'm loving that still needs to harden off. And here is another one. I did chop and prop him this summer 
and he's pushing out some new growth, so very pleased with that. My OG ZZ plant, another favorite, another love of mine, and my Siam Aglionema. Another present from the fiance. This is the Aglionema that kind of really got me curious into finding more. Back up on the mantle, we have a stray chapstick that has cat and dog hair all over it, courtesy of Toddler, the toddler in the house. And here's my Diffenbachia Camille. Doing her thing, Be it's all right. My Skindapsis Exotica. I cannot wait for this baby to trail. Now, someone tell me, does this leaf look different? Like a different species? I don't know. Very interesting. This is an Easter cactus, another Schlumbergera. And here is one of my favorite snake plants. This is my Moonshine Sansevieria doing her thing. I love this pot. I love this plant. It's great. My ZZ Raven. This was what I cut my silver sword for. This is a gift or a trade from my friend John. I love it, love it, love it. Down, we have a Chinese fan palm, another favorite of mine. I love all my plants, let's be honest. It's, I love them. And then my philodendron burl marks. Some new foliage up there. Here is a sad false galaxy Aralia. I have debated giving this plant away so many times. I need to try and chop and prop a little bit of it, get some of this dead foliage off and promote some new growth. I've had this plant going on two and a half years and I haven't cut it at all, ever. So it might be time for that. It's my Hoya Wayetii. Growing long and strong. Awesome Walmart find. Need some water, very light. Here is a type of Epiphyllum, a night blooming cactus. Love this. I love the jungle aspect of this. Super cool. My Hoya Crimson Princess. I think I want to just give this plant away. I've had this for a while and it never grows. I have bad luck with it. My gorgeous lipstick plant grows so easily, so effortlessly. She does well. And then last but not least, another favorite, another easy grower, one that never stops putting out growth. Look at that. This is my Crimson Princess. However, sometimes when I look at the leaves and I look at the shape, I wonder if I have a Hoya Australis Lisa. But I'm, I don't think I can be that lucky, so. Look how this has grown up that. I love it. So nice. A euphorbia, a cactus, and my pickle plant. And a propagation of my variegated, green variegated syngonium. So we all have our favorite corners. Here is another corner. I really like the setup of the lighting is crap, so it doesn't look that pleasing, but it's pleasing to me. Here I have another type of bird's nest hmm, Sansevieria and my starfish Sansevieria, and it's awesome fish pot. My wide form Adansoni. This looks so different from when I got it. I love how it's growing. I love it. I just love this plant. The Monstera Adansoni in general is really what got me into wanting to find obscure, interesting houseplants. This totally did it for me, so I blame you. And then a golden pothos, who has seen better days, but he just hangs out there. This is one of my first plants. He's been through the ringer a bit. We will get you better, buddy. We will get you better. I got a parlor palm up here. I've moved some stuff around up here. I need to reorganize, redecorate. And lastly, my Silver Bay Eglonema doing her thing. This thing flowered for me when I was first getting into houseplants and I didn't know what it was. And I wish it would do it again because I want to try and pollinate it, you so know? I think I'm going to do this video in two parts because 
We're already about 30 minutes in and I've only showed you three rooms. And I don't wanna keep you here for over an hour. So I'm gonna do a two-parter. I'm here in my plant room. So this is a little sneak peek of what you're gonna see next and my house plant tour. So look out for part two. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.